Good day everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. I'm in Las Vegas and uh, this is the Flamingo Hotel and I must say the rooms in the Flamingo are quite substantial, really nice. I remember getting in late at night and entering the room. It was absolutely gorgeous, very spacious coming in, a living area with TV number one, beautiful seating area and further down a large bed and TV number two but that's not the best thing they have a coffee maker with coffee as well so that is a rare find in Vegas so really glad uh, to be staying here and uh, a while back I got to visit one of the buffets here off the strip and I do realize that things on the strip are uh, pretty pricey you do pay a premium so just getting off the strip a little bit uh, you can find some great deals. And I remember going to a lobster buffet, an Asian lobster buffet called the Imperial Buffet uh, out in uh, the Chinatown area. That was really nice. And today I am feeling like a little bit of a lobster buffet as well. And thanks to my good friends, Flynn and Rose from Explore Vegas, I was checking out their channel. And Flynn mentioned that if you go off the strip a little bit, you can find a great deal for an Asian Chinese lobster buffet with all the seafood and crab. So I can't wait for that. I think that is called Buffet at Asia. And for $23 and change, you get all the lobster and seafood from oysters and crab and scallops. So pretty excited for that. And uh, really nice uh, for Flynn and Rose for the great recommendations. So check out Explore Vegas and really grateful for their friendship. And also really grateful to Vessi for sponsoring this video. Vessi is a West Coast company that makes amazing waterproof breathable footwear that keeps you warm and dry when it is cold outside and keeps you cool and dry when it is hot outside. And this is Vegas, but it's not hot yet, but uh, it'll get there soon. So when traveling, Vessi's are my go-to sneakers. What I'm wearing now are the Soho sneakers. Very stylish, very comfortable, and you can walk for miles and miles and still be comfortable. And let me show you how waterproof they are. I'd love to show you at the wild habitat of the flamingo, but I suspect the ducks in the flamingo may not appreciate that, but that's okay because right over here is another fountain. So I think this should be okay. Let's see, fully submerged. And completely dry so no more wet socks there and just gotta keep the balance so give them a try visit Vessi online and there you'll find many styles and colors to choose from they ship to many countries and again what I was wearing there were the Soho sneakers and my favorite are also the weekend sneakers very comfortable lots of cushioning as well and aside from their amazing footwear they have great waterproof breathable apparel and accessories as well from the overcast jacket to the shoreline belt bag keeps your valuables safe, secure, and dry. And if you happen to miss one of their sales, Vessi was kind enough to offer a special promotion. Visit Vessi online and use code Tim Lee to save 15% off your purchase. That again is Vessi online and the code is Tim Lee to save 15% off your purchase. And with that, uh, I think I'm getting hungry and it's getting kind of late. Again, I love to go to a buffet when it is nice and pristine, so early in the beginning. Uh, come on, I'm just gonna catch my Uber and we'll uh, head off to uh, Buffet at Asia. Come on, let's go. Maybe this way. Ah, and I see the Uber right over there. So sometimes it is nice to get off the strip and you certainly find the good deals. Uh, come on, let's go in. All right, so it's looking pretty good here and I can see the buffet over there. Oh, hey Jeremy, how are you? Good. This looks fantastic and I can't believe it. So it's $23 with lobster and lobster, crab. Lobster, crab, you know, fine crab, oyster, oh. you know, the clam, calamari. Uh, Jeremy, can I get a table, please? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, All right. Always nice to pass through the buffet. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's been a while since I've had an Asian buffet and uh, especially in Vegas and it is pretty amazing here because a little bit off the strip and you get incredible deals and I can see the endless stations over there and the hard-working folks stocking everything up and oh I see Phanasia with the drink coming hi oh thank you so much you want Sapporo right let's go for a Sapporo as well okay. all right thank you. thank you so I do have to splurge a bit a nice Sapporo but for now a Diet Coke to start things off I claim I'm watching my calories but uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Mm. Very nice. And with that, I'm not going to wait for the beer. Uh, we just uh, let's visit the buffet. Come on, let's go. All right. So while coming in here, I got a nice uh, lay of the buffet and I saw the lobster and the crab. And I think I'm just going to grab a plate here. And this is perfect right next to the crab and the lobster. I cannot think of a better place to start. Okay, so let's see a little bit of the fried stuff. Fried wonton, I think this is crab rangoon. A little bit of the spring rolls. And as good as the lobster and the crab is, I think I'm gonna get some uh, fried rice as the base and we just have to navigate here. Let's see, and I see it right over here. So the rice is over there, the noodles are here, so maybe a little bit of noodles right here. And going around, maybe a little bit of rice. <laughs> that might be a little too much, but uh, we've got our foundation and let's go for the lobster. Okay, and this is kind of nice. Uh, lots of lobster and as good as the lobster is, it's the sauces, a little bit of the tail, number one, and a nice chunky lobster tail meat. That's number two, and number three. And what a good start, but as good as a lobster is, the sauce is even better, and I intend to find out a little bit more. Okay, and then a little bit of pot stickers. Go for one of these. And again, a massive amount of crabs here. But I think I'm gonna hold off on the crab because they are a bit too much work. But it's nice to know they have the butter and the sauces. And this is just the first station and let's see what else they have. All right, and not only do they have the sushi and the seafood, they have oysters as well. But I think maybe some sushi. Tuna and one of the eels right over here. Some shrimp and octopus and the rolls. From the crunchy to the colorful to the savory, more colors. And I think these are misshapen California rolls, but misshapen in a wonderful way. And I think these are the funniest sushi I've seen. But let's give it a try right over here. All right, and moving on over there, more stations. And this is getting kind of busy here because uh, when I first came in, it uh, was a transition between lunch and dinner and it was around three o'clock and uh, I like to get here when the buffet is pristine, but it is getting busy. But look at this. Oh, beautiful veggies and shrimp and seafood. I think I got to go for a little bit here. And this might not be the best placement for it, but that should be okay. A little bit of calamari deep fried maybe two a little bit of veggies some tom yum and i think we might need to go on the other side oh my goodness really nice to see everything stocked up and thank you again all right so i think with that we got to go for some of the shrimp oh nice and fresh from the sauteed shrimp to the deep fried number one and number two. And I think that is good for round one. All right, it's always nice to come back to the table with something new. And I think Fanesia has brought over the beer and cheers to you. So I think we're gonna start off with the crunchy crab rangoon. Give that a try.
it's got a nice crunch and a nice filling, but these you don't want to eat too much because just a little bit to start things off, you don't want to fill up on these. Mm. Mainly because there's the lobsters and all the wonderful seafood. And I think I'm going to go for this misshape. <laughs> I can't even speak. I think I'm going to go for this misshapen sushi. A little bit here. Mm. Lots of filling, a little bit of rice, some tobiko, and that wonderful crab and avocado. Mm. Very nice. And I gotta try the eel sushi. Just a little bit here. That is quite nice because eel is a bit of a premium item. Beautiful seafood, nice and charred and sweet, but savory as well. And finally, I gotta go for the lobster. Well, let's see. So one of the things I like is all that sauce being uh, dripping down to the rice and the noodles. And uh, oh, look at that meaty pieces as well. Just comes off with the wonderful sauce. Let's give that a try with the rice. Mm. This is kind of the Cantonese style where the pieces are chopped up, deep fried, covered in a wonderful sauce. And it is really the sauce and the meat combined that makes the difference. Let's see if we can pull this off here. Oh, so a little bit of work to pull out the meat. And I think a spoon, not the shell, but with all the lobster meat. Mm. Very nice. So I took a little bit here. I'm going to go for round two and round three for more lobster. And they are pretty quick at replenishing everything. I noticed a crab was running out, but they quickly filled it up. So no worries here. And I remember I went to the Imperial uh, Chinese buffet or Imperial Asian buffet and uh, people were complaining that there weren't too many lobsters, but uh, I don't see that problem here. So let's give the egg roll a try. Mm. Nice and crunchy and full of filling. Unfortunately, the filling is veggie, but still very good. Mm. I'm gonna go for the shrimp. So this is seafood with a bit of broccoli and a sauteed shrimp. I can't believe this is a $20 buffet because those shrimp are huge and cooked to perfection. Everything clean, wonderfully seasoned. And of course, it's the sauce. Mm. As good as the stirred fried shrimp is, let's try the deep fried shrimp. And I think we'll need to use our hands for this. Not bad. Very crunchy, maybe a little bit heavy on the batter, but a beautiful shrimp inside. Mm. So, this is the first round, but I think I've covered two or three of the stations of the 10 stations they have here. So I'm gonna finish this up and we'll take you back for more. And I forgot to mention, beer is $3 and it's two for one. Cheers. So that was a very nice first round and that strange looking sushi, the one that looks like a sandwich, I still don't know what it is, but it was tasty. And more seafood with the squid. And unlike the spring roll, that pot sticker was filled with meaty goodness. Very delicious. But of course, it is the noodles and the rice soaked with that lobster sauce that takes the show really, really long noodles there. And with that, I think it's time for round two. Come on, let's uh, get in busy. Let's uh, give it a visit. Okay, so I think we are on to the second row of all the stations here. 
a little bit of deep fried goodness. And these are sesame balls and we used to call them as uh, children, we call them grease balls because uh, when you put them in a bag and those as well, they turn translucent. Ah, uh, and since this is an Asian buffet, we have the quintessential beef and broccoli, some clams, that is for jade. It's not black bean sauce and uh, mushrooms and pizza as well. But let's see what we have on the next station and it does get better. And these are cheesy baked scallops. Number one. And number two. And just to mix it up a little bit, they've got a couple of mussels in there and some poached skewers, some chicken. But why go for diced chicken when there is deep fried chicken in wing form? But to counteract all that deep fried goodness, maybe some veggies. And here are the chicken wings, a little spicy with a jalapeno. Number one. And a backup. Some french fries. Oh, and I can see on the other end, more seafood. All right, so they certainly don't skimp here. Let's see, beautiful Cajun shrimp. And this is spicy salt and pepper deep fried Dungeness crab. And uh, I think this is reminiscent of home in Vancouver, where we get quite a bit of this. And maybe number two. Oh, and let's see what else. Some naturally red spare ribs. And again, the salt and pepper spicy shrimp right over here on the on the uh, scallops. Oh, and look at this. They have uh, frog legs. And these are our amphibious friends, two together. Okay, and this is interesting. Which one does not belong? Tasty items, and all of a sudden, they put bananas in here. And that's my cue to leave. And uh, this is nice because what I'm leaving to or going to is another wonderful station with beautiful flounder. Okay, that looks so good, but before the flounder, I think we need a bed of noodles on which the flounder will sit upon. And switching opposite sides, a little bit of rice noodles. I think they get you with the sauces because with all the sauces, you tend to take a lot more carb and rice and noodles and uh, tends to fill you up. But those are the hazards. All right, so a little bit of soy sauce. All right on top. And piece number two, along with some garnish. Come on, there we go. All right, and uh, let's see what else. Ooh, how did I miss this? And when I'm picking up food here, more food is being delivered. And uh, let's go for some orange chicken. This is a uh, Panda Express special. All right, and let's see what else they have. And this is really nice. They uh, prioritize their uh, buffet accordingly. The dessert or, or the salad station is at the end to prevent you from filling up with all the salads. And uh, over there are the fruits. And back there is the buffet and let's see. You know, I think I gotta go for more of the lobster. And again, these are not small pieces. Let's see, maybe two right here. And I think this will do for round two, starting with and ending with the lobsters. So still going on very strong and I don't want things to cool down. So without haste, let's try the scallops. Okay, so nice scallops on the shell. Let's give this a try. Oh. There's a lot of mayonnaise there. Nice and baked, but this is not a scallop. This is uh, some type of filling with scallop inside. Not my favorite, but I'll eat it anyways. But that's okay, because we have the spicy salt and pepper crab. And these are a little bit of work, but that's okay. They are worth it. And when they're deep fried, the meat just comes off so easily. Let's give this a try. Mm. Very nice tender crab, perfectly cooked because it's deep fried. And of course, the cartilage or the white meat comes off 
so simply. Mm. I think all I need is really the rice and the noodles with the lobster sauce and a little bit of crab. But since we have more food, let's go for the flounder. So this is freshly steamed and in traditional Cantonese style, it's a simple soy sauce. Very tender, and it's nice to have this when it is steaming hot out of the kitchen. Mm. That's a big piece, and let's go for the orange chicken, just to counteract the healthiness of the steamed flounder. We've got something deep fried. Mm. So good, sweet, savory, and deep fried and saucy. Not bad at all. So. Again, I've got more lobster and more food to finish up, <laughs> and I'll take you back for more. All right, so this is actually round four, and uh, I think I've had all the uh, savory foods I can. The frog legs were nice and crispy. Tastes kind of like fish and chicken, but seasoned really well. The crab though, a little bit dry and a little bit over. That's okay, the crispy chicken wings made up for it and even more importantly, the green beans made up for it. They were delicious and I finally had my vegetables and I couldn't resist another plate of rice and crab and seafood. And yet I forgot I had another beer coming. It's a two for one. So I think that is it for round three and let's go to round four. And this is uh, dessert time. Let's grab a plate. Asian places aren't known too much for their dessert, but this is looking pretty good. So a little bit of cakes and some sweets. Oh, and unfortunately, the bananas are being refilled. And if you like bananas, that might be good for you, just not for me. And let's see, so avoiding the bananas, we have some jello and some pudding. And I think this is a traditional almond pudding. Go for a little bit here. Okay, and that's feeling a little firm, but let's see. Some mango pudding, the jellos, and ah, this is what I'm after. I think that is a little bit of almond pudding with some canned fruits. Try a little bit here. Two squares and some fruit right next to the big one. I think this is rice pudding with a little bit of cross-contamination. Let's try this. Here. Ooh. All right, let's see. I think this is some star cookies, just by the shape. The star right in the center. And two cream puffs left. And unfortunately, they are upside down. But we can correct that right side up. All right, here, a little bit of mousse, a little bit of pommiers or elephant ears, and maybe a little bit of bundt cake in the form of red velvet right here. Okay, and let's see what else they have. A little bit of fruit salad, some canned peaches, uh, healthy melons. And I thought I saw some dessert items as well back there. Let's go check it out. Ah, and these are in the savory section, but these I think are sugar donuts. And this would be nice to wrap up the dessert. Oh, and one last detour. An almond cookie for the road back to the table. Okay, so a very modest dessert round, and again, uh, Asian buffets aren't too well known for the desserts, but you might have noticed I have something new, uh, along with the cookie and the um, fried uh, donut. I have the sesame grease ball. It was coming out of the oven, nice and hot, and it is still hot. Let's give this a try. Mm. Wonderful toasty sesame. And while it's still hot, inside is a red bean paste, nice and sweet. Oh. And it is hot. Much needed. And I gotta try that almond pudding, but 
It doesn't look too promising, but let's give it a try. I think these are the same thing. Mm. Not bad, but just a bit too much gelatin. We gotta try the sugary deep fried donut. And it is pretty interesting where they put the uh, savory items and some of these desserts together. Mm. Nice crispy coating and the crunch of the sugar and a little bit of grease, always nice. But what might make it a little bit better is a little bit of the pudding. We'll give it a scoop. A little bit thick and gooey, cheers. Mm. That is a vanilla rice pudding and together with a donut, perfect combination. Very good. So I think I'm just going to finish up the dessert and get the sugar off my hands. But this is the buffet at Asia. And uh, apparently there are three places, um, three locations. And this is, I'll put the details below, but there is uh, someone mentioned here that there is a bigger and better one just across the street, same distance away from the strip, about 20 minutes as this one. And I'll leave the description below. But thank you so much for joining and the staff here and the hosts and servers are great. Always filling up the buffet and Tunisia was amazing with all the beers and uh, the drinks. And I hope I'm saying her name correctly. So thank you again so much for joining. And until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well and I hope you're traveling well. Uh, take care of each other and uh, God bless. And I think I need to finish off with that rescued cream puff that was upside down. Mm, very nice. So again, thank you again and bye-bye for now.